software. First, you go to the CAD screen, switch off the ortho mode, switch on the switch off the grid mode, and switch on the ortho mode. And type the command limits. Take the lower left corner 0, 0, upper right corner 297, 210. Say zoom, enter, or enter. And go to line. Select some arbitrary point on the lower left corner of the AutoCAD screen and take some distance and click on the first button of the mouse and drag the mouse in the upper direction and click on again on the uh, first button of the mouse and say enter. Then go to offset, take the distance as 297, offset this line till here, and then go to offset, take the distance as 210, select this line and offset. Then go to zoom, extends, zoom 0.6x. Then go to fillet between this line and this line. Similarly, between these two lines. Similarly, between this line and this line. Now we go for zoom window. Select near to the screen and go to detect. Uh, select some arbitrary point. Take the height as 4, rotation angle as 0 and type 112. So now a square lamina of a square lamina A, B, C, D of 40 mm side rest on corner capital C such that the diagonal AC appears to be at 45 degree to EP EP the two sides two sides BC and capital CD containing the corner capital C make equal inclination with HP the surface of the lamina surface of the lamina makes 30 degree with uh, HP draw its top view and front views then go to zoom previous then go to zoom window now bring it near to the screen and go to layer click on new and here type xy and enter then click on new type views say enter so layer line weight make the default layer line weight set it as 0.05 and say ok xy line weight make it as 0.13 and say ok and views layer you make it as 0.5 and say ok and finally close it now we go for the polygon command take, take polygon number of sides is 4 because square lamina of 40 mm side you take edge so you select uh, some point and take 40 mm side then go to line take intersection point of these two to intersection point of this then go to intersection point of this and take intersection part of this then go to select this and take ch and go to layer and make this layer as views and say escape and switch on the line weight display mode then go to rotate select this entire thing then go to intersection part of this and give the rotation angle as 45 degree then go to line draw a line here then similarly take line intersection of this and perpendicular to this and go to line take intersection of this and draw perpendicular to this and go to line take intersection of this and draw perpendicular to this and then go to fillet between these two fillet between these two then go to break select this line first point to take intersection at the rate and then you select these two and go to layer make this as view then now you just uh, copy this to the second position take by window take some approximate distance and click suitable position and click on the first button of the mouse then go to rotate select this entire drawing and take the end point of this the rotation angle as 30 then go to line take end point of this and draw a vertical line take end point of this and draw a vertical line take intersection part of this and draw perpendicular to this and then go to trim between these two here similarly go to line take intersection go to line take end point of this and draw a vertical line take line 
intersection of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to line take intersection of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to fillet between these two then go to line take intersection of this to intersection of this and intersection of this and take intersection of this and say close similarly break this first point on this at the rate first point intersection at the rate so now you select these four and then go to layer and make this layer as views so similarly you take line and draw a horizontal line here similarly from here you draw this onto this side then go to group select this select this entire thing in a group then go to copy for copy select this entire second position top view and take to the arbitrary distance and then click on the first button of the mouse and then go to rotate select this rotate with reference to this point the rotation angle in the clockwise direction minus 45 degrees so then go to move select this and uh, switch off the ortho mode place it near to the xy line then go to line switch on the ortho mode then go to line intersection point of this and take perpendicular to this similarly line take intersection point of this and draw a horizontal line then go to line take intersection point of this to perpendicular to this line similarly line take intersection point of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to fillet between these two and similarly line take intersection point of this and draw a horizontal line and take line intersection of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to fillet between these two now we go for line command take int and intersection of this and take intersection of this and take intersection of this and say close now we go for the changing the layer so we will going to take this and make this layer as views and then select this line this line we will going to make it as xy layer and then go to ddim select modify so go to precision you make it zero then go to text so here you type it four align with the dimension line select above and take the dimension as three and say symbols and arrows take the arrow size as four and go to lines and take the offset from origin as three and say ok and finally close and then dim aligned select this line and take the square go to text square of 40 so type 40 and uh, place this similarly dim angular select between this line and this line so you're going to make it as 30 degrees and similarly angular between this line and this line you take it 45 degrees then go to D text, switch on the caps lock and type X and you type Y and here uh, click on VP here type VP and here it is HP so here put the caps lock on off type A B C D and here which is uh, A dash you take this as B dash, you take this as C dash, and this as D dash. Then go to zoom window, then close this, zoom 0.6x, then go to move, select this, put the ortho mode off, and take X, and you make it this as VP, and you take this as HP. And this as Y, then go to C, which here B, then go to A, then type D, then go to C dash, and here it is B dash, here it is A dash, then go to zoom window, then go to copy select c dash and type it here b dash bring it here and d dash take it here 
then a dash so here c then go to b then a and then d and here to so take c this point c will come here and this point b will come here then a will come here then d will come here so then d text so here mark this as c dash this as b dash this as a dash and this as d dash then go to move take c dash then b dash then a dash then d dash then go to zoom previous and then zoom previous zoom previous so zoom extent zoom 0.7x so this is how you will be able to complete this drawing and then go to save go to appropriate drive e autocad laminar drawing you say p 112 and save it and finally you exit the